it's a big challenge in general to do a genetic study. You need tens of thousands of people to really start to get statistically meaningful results. And that's what the International Consortium has achieved for populations of European ancestry. So I think the main barriers really are the time and the money that it takes, but also possibly the prevalence of the disease. So until quite recently, MS was not being diagnosed in or not being diagnosed nearly as much in populations of South Asian and African backgrounds. And so it's possible that there were simply not enough people to recruit for these studies. We know now it's becoming more common. And in fact, in the UK and the US, it's probably just as common among Black Americans, Black Britons, as it is in white Americans, white British people. So I think it's probably time, money, patient availability. Uh, and then there may be some other factors at play as well. But I think I think those are the main factors.